Today we are going to be installing a new monitor on my lap, to my laptop computer. Uh, this is a popular monitor. It's not very expensive, but it's a nice flat screen monitor. It's 1920 by 1080 resolution. And I will be able to have a large screen monitor attached to my laptop. But you can attach this to any desktop computer as well, pretty much the same way. So let's go through this. I'm going to open this up. This is a popular style monitor. Let's see if we can get the box open. Sometimes the box is the hardest thing to do. Now we're going to open the lid. And we are going to, the instructions seem to be right here. And we are going to open this up. And as you can see, it is very well packaged. Uh, there's styrofoam in there that keeps the monitor from touching the table. I do suggest you put this on a flat surface, either a rug or a table, and you can work on it there and with, without damaging the monitor. Okay, I am going to be pulling this out. So reach in here, and we have some cables. This comes with a VGA cable that has this kind of a plug on the end. It also comes with what looks like a possibly a DVI cable. I'm not real sure what this cable is. It doesn't say on here. Another cable. And it comes with this cable, which is a power cable. I would assume the other cable is a DVI, but we won't be using this today. I will be pulling the monitor out. I'm getting past all this. So I'm going to go and stand this up right. So I get this out easier. Get this out of my way. And pull this out. Okay, here is the base for the monitor. And there's the monitor. There's also a cable for, uh, for your speakers and your monitor from your laptop or from your desktop. I probably won't be using these today because there are speakers in my laptop and they're easier to deal with than me. So take the monitor out. Put the box on the side, keeping the box in case we have to return it. Okay. So we turn this around and we take a look. Now this particular unit, this is a 21 and a half or 22 inch monitor. This unit here. Does this have a marking for front or for rear? Good question. This one says front. So this is the front of the monitor. So you should look for the place where the monitor will be facing you. That would be front. So we want to turn this around this way. We will take the styrofoam off. this up a little bit. And as you can see, there is some clear plastic wrap on here. I generally take these off first and have to be careful with it so I don't scratch it because when you leave these on sometimes they get trapped underneath and they're hard to take off sometimes you have to cut them. 
So I'm going to peel that off right now. I'm also going to peel that off here too. There's more of that on the sleeve here and I don't want it to be caught between the between the top and the bottom here. This is sometimes the hardest part of this job. And that's pretty much all of that. So remember we said this was the front, and the front is the flat part laying down. So we put it on here like this. And this particular model has a screw with a wing nut on it. Makes it very easy to tighten up, and you don't need a screwdriver. Put that over. Stand this guy up. And that's the back of our monitor. Okay, now we're ready to do the next step with our monitor. I'm going to move the trash out of the way. Now. This particular monitor is totally protected on this side, on the front side, with a sheet. So laying it on the table won't harm it. Or get anything on it. Plus there is some more of that plastic sticky stuff right here that goes around the edges. So this keeps it from being damaged. And that's important to know because we're going to lay it back on its face again to put the cables on it. In the case, in my case here, we are going to be using uh, only the VGA connector and we're going to be using the power connector and we will be attaching it to my laptop. As you can see, this also has screws in the back for putting it on an arm of some sort in case you wanted to move the monitor back and forth, then that can be done too. So I'm going to tilt the monitor back this way. So you can see this is a VGA connector. This is a DVI connector. The power connector is here. And here is a connection for the speakers. In case you wanted the speaker, this particular monitor has speakers built in. So let's take out our power cable, which comes in this resealable bag. If I can get it open. Okay, this comes with a cable here. And a twist tie, which will take forever to take off. But maybe not. And this is a three-prong plug. 
Make sure you look at it upside at the bottom side so you get it in properly. Hold it here and push it in. Now you've got, you've got the AC plug connected. As I said, we're going to be using VGA, so we're going to leave the DVI cable that it came with intact. Do you need to even open it? Because we don't intend to use it. If your computer has a DVI connection, it may be better than the VGA connection. My laptop only has VGA or HDMI, and this is not an HDMI monitor. Okay, as you can see, this has this type of a connection on it. I'm going to leave the no, I, I I'm going to leave the plastic wrap on it right now for this purpose. Take the VGA connector. You'll notice that it's bigger on one end than on, it's bigger on one side than on the other. Make sure that you look at the connector here. Plug it in. Shove it in as far as it will go. Make sure it's seated and then tighten the screws. You can use a screwdriver for this, but finger tight is probably just as good. And now your cables are installed on your monitor. You can lift it up, stand it up. It's very light. These monitors are very small, easy to, to, to move around. Way better than the old CRT monitors that used to weigh like 85 pounds. Okay. Now we'll move it over to the computer. Okay, let's complete the installation. This is the back of the monitor. This is the power cord. I plug it into the power bar, into the plug bar. Uh, this way. I bring the cable around for VGA. Now, my laptop has a VGA connection that does not allow a screw in. So I have to put this in here without the screws, but it's okay because it's not going to move. And I'm just going to plug that right into the side of the laptop. Now, for some people, this is immaterial because they're going to be using a desktop and that will screw in and you can use the screws because it's permanent. I use this laptop otherwise, so I just need to quick disconnect everything and I can take it with me. But for now, for this purpose, I'm going to show you how you can make a desktop out of a laptop using a larger monitor. And this may be very helpful for some people who say, well, I don't want to buy a laptop, but because I'm used to having a big screen and a keyboard, well, I'm going to show you how to get past that and use this larger monitor. If you have a desktop, of course, it's, this part is immaterial to you. Okay, as you can see, there's tape holding on this front sheet. And for the purposes of this, I'm going to peel this part off. And I will leave a protective cover around the outside edges here, which wants to come with the tape anyway. But I will peel that off to show that it is a non glare flat screen 22 inch monitor. And now it is hooked up to the laptop. And how I would use this. I'll bring over my wireless keyboard which is already set up for the laptop. So I have a keyboard, a mouse, and the monitor. I will turn on the power bar. See that I have power coming in. 
turn on the monitor. As you can see the blue light came on. Open lid. Start up the laptop. As you can see, the color on the two screens is quite different. Now, the, la the resolution on the laptop is something like 1366 uh, in one dimension, whereas this monitor here is 1920 by 1080. But it has assumed this resolution. To remedy that, as long as you're still in the Windows desktop screen, Close the lid on the laptop. I have the laptop preset that closing the lid does not shut the laptop down. It just turns off the monitor inside. And now it's gone to, to 1920 by 1080, which is a good, clear, sharp image. And you can use this as a desktop computer. And you have a nice, bright, happy monitor. You may want to knock the, uh, you may want to do some adjustment, and we'll go over that in a minute. Hi, we're now going to adjust this monitor down a little bit. It's a little bit on the bright side, and it's time to take it down a little bit. So let's, uh, let's get rid of the bubbles here. And we will go into the adjustment, which is right here on this particular monitor. We're going to touch this. And as you can see, it says contrast and brightness. I'm going to hit 2 to lock it in on contrast. I'm going to take it back some by hitting the down arrow here. And then I'm going to get 1 to go downward to the next one. Hit 2. And I'm going to take this one down, oh, probably to... Let's try 50%. And the, the contrast part is at 74. I can probably bring that down a little bit. I press this, press up, and then 2 to lock it, and go downward with that, and try, let's try about 65. Okay, I exit, exit. And that concludes adjusting the monitor, putting the monitor together for your, uh, for your laptop or for your desktop. Uh, there may be some software in your computer for adjusting color, brightness, and so forth, and you can use that. This just lightens and darkens the monitor. I have a laptop already set up to my levels of what I like on the laptop. So when I use a laptop by itself, I can use that. And we now have the monitor set up. It's just not terribly bright. And it works just like a desktop. We can bring up Outlook here. And that's what the screen looks like. And it's big. That concludes our time. Thank you. It's been fun.